Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, I just wanted to talk today and say a uh, good day to you all. I don't know which day you're going to be catching this on, but hopefully this really grabs your attention because this one really, really made a difference in my life. Um, I noticed like my finances were inconsistent, so I decided to kind of find a hack after you know 15 years of going through all this manifestation stuff. I noticed that my finances would go up and down and they would kind of not be very certain at times. Well, I mean, I've always had an abundance of money and it was very general and I've always had more than enough, which is great too. But I wanted to play with, you know, my control over making money, relationships and health and doing all that. And I wanted to work first with money because I enjoy playing with money as well and enjoy manifesting it coming from the universe and coming from places that I just you know, didn't even realize it would come from. Um, so what I did was I used this method and I learned it from Neville Goddard and just researching online Nikola Tesla and stuff like that those guys use and I looked at these methods that they're using and what I did was I kind of put together a I will not technique where Neville Goddard talks about his ladder technique where he has his students say I will not climb a ladder and he has them look at this and write it on a piece of paper and read it throughout the day and, and this was like a little test he did for them and to see if that they were going to manifest and they would he would say you don't believe what i do well, let me get you to do this test okay and if you don't believe me after that then you know you go your way i go mine but if you do then you join me for my mastermind and what he would do is have all of the people that are you know skeptical and be like okay you know what uh let's say for example john and say john or nancy whatever the name is say why don't you come and you i want you to every day write on a sheet of paper um, I will not climb a ladder and you keep writing that and then you keep it on a piece of paper and throughout the day You keep that little card with you that paper and you read it and say I will not climb a ladder. I will not climb a ladder and They do this for three days and to their surprise <laughs> They climb a ladder in three days like within three days to five days or so they climb a ladder Right just by them saying I will not climb a ladder because they're what they're doing is they're saying they're not going to do it But when you say you're not going to do something you're also manifesting because you're putting attention on that. So you've got the energy, the vibration, and the frequency are all lining up, and that's getting you to that point of matching the ladder or the thing that you're saying I'm not, or like if you know I'm, I'm you know I'm not well. Okay, you're, you're not going to be well, and it's that simple because you're lining up with that vibration. Or I do not make that money, or I don't see it coming in. It's the same thing as the ladder. So what you want to do is use that to your advantage. Use the I will not for something that you want. You know, I will not get $2,000 this week. I will not, you know, you know, and that's, and that's the method. But then you combine that with the 369 method from Nikola Tesla, which was basically to write down, you know, three times, um, six times, then nine times. So 369. His belief was everything was in these multiples, right? He'd do everything within these multiples of three, six, nine. That was that was his that was his go by. That was his feeling that that numeric code is connected to the universe, right? And and if you look at it, a lot of those things make sense because you're looking at three, six, nine. They are multiples of three, like nine, six is multiple of three, nine is multiple of three. So what we do is you basically take a sheet of paper and I did this and on day one, day two and day three, what you do is you write, you know, for example, I will not need $10,000 a week because I already have it. And then you write that three times, you know, and do something you believe in, do something that's believable for you, right? I'm doing, you know, 20,000 a week, right? Because I've already, you know, I, I earned a certain amount. I want to play with that amount. Like you want to also choose according to you. If you believe that the next step up would be, you know, double what you're making, put that out there. If you're making a thousand dollars a week, then say, okay, I want to get two thousand. So I will not need two thousand dollars a week because I already have it. And you make this fun and you manifest it because it's fun. That's why you do this. You do it to make it fun. You don't make it heavy because everything in this universe that the universe creates, the grass and all these things, everything that's created, it's all created with very little effort or no effort at all. If you plant a seed and you sit there and try to make it grow, it won't grow. But the vibration behind it, and it'll have its own time and it'll sprout and it'll grow. And it's the same thing as these things here. 
I will not need $2,000 a week because I already have it. Three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, nine times in the evening, and that gets you into that vibration. Once you get into that vibration, you are now in a frequency of receiving, right? Your attention is that I don't need that because I already have it. So when you need something, you're in the gap of I don't have it, right? I need it because I don't have it. That's what you're saying to the universe. But when you say I will not need this because I already have it, now you're in the tense of having it. So will not need, need is basically in a, in a different vibration, a different time. That's in the time that you don't have it. But when you say you have it, that's in the present time. You have it now, so the universe has to deliver it. And then you basically say, I will not need X amount of dollars, or I don't need this health. I don't need whatever it may be. You know, I don't need this relationship to be great with my wife. I don't need my relationship with my son to be great because I already have it. And then you're in a state of already having it, right? And this is like how the Mayans did it, how, you know, the Aztecs, whatever it is, the natives to South America did it when they would want rain. They would pray and they would do like, you know, this whole rain dance that they talk, that people talk about is real. Like they would actually manifest the rain. They would say that I already have it. They pray to God. Thank you for the rain. We've already have it. And sure enough, it would come, right? Because they're connected to the universe. Because we're in, living in a virtual reality here where we can create what we want. And that's super important that we understand that life is a game. And if we enjoy it, not make it heavy, we can manifest a ton of things. You'll be very surprised. So again, so day one, you go, this is I'm showing you day three, but you go day one, three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, nine times in the evening. And then day two, three, six, nine. Day three, three, six, nine. And you will be surprised. And once you're at that point, then you can say, okay, I'm going to go on to something else. And that's what I just keep going from topic to topic because I, I don't want to sit idle. It's fun. It's fun manifesting. And it's, it's made my, fun, my, my life very enjoyable. And it's also, you learn how to create, right? And so anyways, um, I hope you guys subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, you know, and, or maybe give it a like or put a comment there of something that you want to manifest. I would love to hear your comments and let's share and work together as a community. All right. Wish you the best. Take care. Have a great day.